Hey there, YouTubers. Um, I hadn't intended on doing a video today, but um, recently there's been a lot of hubbub in the disabled community about uh, a show that, or an episode of Dr. Phil's show that uh, aired, uh, I think in the past week or so. Um, I'm not sure when it aired, actually, because I don't watch Dr. Phil, so I haven't seen the episode uh, anyway, but I've read a couple of articles about the episode and Twitter responses and so on and so on and so on um, regarding the episode, uh, and I just wanted to comment on it. Um, the reason I don't watch Dr. Phil is I think he's an idiot, and I thought he's an idiot for many, many years. Um, it has nothing to do with this particular episode. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, but in this episode, apparently he had um, at least one and maybe more than one interable, interabled couple on his show. Um, and during the episode, he apparently said that um, the able-bodied person in an interabled couple can either be a lover or a caregiver, but the person cannot be both because then the relationship will fail 100 times out of 100 times. And I think that's a bunch of crap. And I think Dr. Phil is an ableist, um, among other many other um, negative qualities that I could uh, name about him. Um, but I will say that I've only been in interable relationships. I've never been with someone who has who also has a disability, um, and so far all of my relationships have failed. I guess you can say because we broke up. Um, three relationships, all three ended in breakups. However, none of the three relationships ended up in breakups because of my disability or because of um, the other person's, the other person felt like they were a caregiver rather than a lover. In fact, during one of the relationships, uh, my then girlfriend did have to start doing more caregiving stuff for me, even though I'm normally super independent. I was getting sick um, with, um, if you remember my video about Cipro, so that actually made me even more disabled for a while than, um, than I am just with the spinal cord injury in the wheelchair. Um, so what ended up happening was she ended up doing a lot of things for me that I didn't particularly like having done for me, but I needed them done for me. Um, because I wasn't able to do them myself, which normally I would be able to do. So it wasn't a problem for her. She had no problem with that at all. But it was a problem for me. Um, however, then I got better. Uh, you know, the, uh, the effects from Cipro slowly went away. And I was able to do more and more things on my own. And eventually get back to where I was before taking that medication. Um, so, so that really didn't contribute at all to uh, our breakup. And during the relationship, we talked about it because communication is obviously key to any relationship. Um, but so I will say none of my relationships have succeeded in the sense that I'm not with anyone now and my previous relationships ended. But I do know um, someone very close to me, actually, who was in an interable relationship, and he and his wife were together for over 40 years. Um, actually, it was a, uh, a relative of my dad, uh, my dad's cousin. I'm not sure what that would make him to me. My dad's cousin would be my... I don't know. If you know what that is, let me know. Um, I never met this person, 
But uh, my dad often used to tell me about him. Um, he was disabled when he was a early teens, maybe like 12, 13-ish years old, um, and had it for the rest of his life. Um, and he met this woman, I think in his 20s, and lived a full, full life with her and his disability. And um, they both have since passed, but they never got divorced. So I would consider that relationship a success. And I know of many other relationships. And if you look on Twitter uh, uh, for the hashtag, I, the hashtag is something like uh, 100 out of 100 or something, or just search for Dr. Phil um, interable episode on Google and you'll see there's there are plenty 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 of people uh, that have relationships that are examples of successful relationships uh, successful interable relationships where someone is a caregiver and a lover at the same time um, I'm sure that for some people or for some relationships being a caregiver and a lover does not work but that definitely is not the case for all relationships. Um, and really, it's just, again, it's just an example of how ableist people are. And even someone who is supposedly knowledgeable about many things, like Dr. Phil, uh, <laughs> I don't think he is, but um, some people must think he is. Um, so even someone like that can have ableist tendencies and ableist viewpoints. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to comment on that. Um, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and do not forget to subscribe.